we're here with Greg Lips from Ohio State University, and we've got kind of a special day here down on the Derby, don't we, Greg? Absolutely. Any day we're dealing with Hellbenders is a great day. So wait a minute. So we're dealing with the Eastern Hellbender today, because from what I know, there's never been a Hellbender on this creek in 60, 70 years. Well, it's been a long, long time, and this is the story around a lot of Ohio where we've lost a lot of our Hellbenders and Hellbender habitat do the things we did to the river, but thanks to all the work of people like your organization, the Metro Parks, we've been able to restore a lot of these areas, and now we're hoping to get the hellbender back living So here. this is a state endangered species. Very few streams, very few rivers in Ohio are going to have this, and we can now add the Big Darby Creek to that. Greg, thanks for everything you've done for this project. Thank you guys for making yep. habitat available. So the Ohio Hellbender Partnership is a group of agencies, organizations throughout the state of Ohio who, is try who are trying to recover the hellbender population. So as part of that, what we've been doing is looking for suitable areas where we think the habitat has improved and conditions are good for hellbenders. And the Darby ranks right up at the top. So much great work has been done in this watershed with dams being removed and uh, pollution being cleaned up. And we think that it's now likely to be a suitable habitat for the hellbender. We monitor hellbender populations to try to determine how they're doing. And um, the main way that we do that is we, we place little microchips called passive integrated transponders inside of each hellbender that then can be scanned so we can identify individual hellbenders. Um, and we've been doing this throughout the state for several years um, and, and trying to track how uh, the size of the populations and the growth rates and the body condition of our animals so we can monitor the overall health of the population. And our goal is to have healthy populations throughout the state and eventually be able to take this animal off of the endangered species list here in Ohio.